Welcome. Today's tutorial will be on how to install Linux on a USB drive within Windows 7. Now, the things you're going to need today are the ISO, a USB that can fit Linux, so approximately 2 to 4, depending on which one you're using. There are some very small ones and very big ones, so you'll figure out the size you need later. First off, what you're going to have to do is you're going to need a um, bootmaker. The best one I found is the Universal USB installer. What you're going to have to do is go to pendrivelinux.com slash universal USB installer, easiest one, two, three. So if you Google Universal USB installer, it will come up. It's probably the first thing. Now, at the bottom it says download Universal USB 1.8.9. AC. Once you go ahead and download that, it should take a few seconds. Then once that's done, you're gonna double click it, let UAC allow it. You're gonna agree to the licensing. Now the first step you're gonna have to do is select the Linux distribution. There are tons you can choose from. Now I mean tons. But uh, we're going to do something really basic and start off with Ubuntu 12.4, it's the newest one. Now any of these ISOs, or any of these distributions you click on, it's going to give you a link directly to the homepage where you can find how to download it. So right here it linked us to Ubuntu 12.04 LTS, Precise Pendulum, or something, I don't know how to pronounce it, anyways. Click get Ubuntu now, Ubuntu desktop. Now you have to choose your flavor, basically the architecture, whether it's 62 or 64 or 32 bit. Uh, I have a 64 bit computer, so I'm going to download that. Then once it's finished downloading, you're going to go browse for it. I already have it downloaded. So bam, just got it there. And then once you have done step two, browse for your ISO, you go to step three, select your USB drive. Now I haven't put it in, so I'm going to select it now. As you can probably hear that I've connected it. Just to double check, it is M. So I have M. Okay. Now we're going to format, and it's going to erase all the contents within the USB. Now when you click continue, a menu is going to come up and it's going to say that it's going to perform these actions. Basically it's saying it's just going to format it, it's going to override it with Linux and that's about it. So click yes to perform the actions on your USB drive. Now it's going to take a few minutes to install, when we're going to pop up, it's going to say extracting etc. But then when this is all done, all you have to do is restart your computer. Uh, you might have to go into your boot menu and select it, select your USB and then boot off that and there you go, it is installed. 